What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my level of news, where I bring you news every weekday. Live news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Friday, March 15th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Warner Brothers Studios is blaming the Suicide Squad game that they decided to produce and make for everything going on in the company at the moment. The game was released early February, and it's been about a month, and the game is already 50% off. The story wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best either. The game just didn't click like the Batman game before it. To top it all off, the horrible live service that they had with ripping people off just costumes. Warner Brothers had to preview the game before releasing, and I believe they only had themselves to blame. A small Easter egg was found in Cyberpunk 2077. The Easter egg has been out since the game was launched, and no one has found it until a Twitter user by the name of Crushovitz posted a video with the main menu Easter egg. When you go to the top right of the screen of the main menu where it tells you the version that you're on, if you hover over it, it changes to 2077. The developers thought this wouldn't be found because it was such a small thing that they basically had forgotten about it. It's the little things that count. Skins in video games never really have an effect on the game difficulty or how your stats are because you have armor pieces on and the skin just makes them invisible. Celebrate is taking a different approach to the whole skins in game. The developers made a suit called the skin suit and that suit will make the game much harder because you basically have nothing to give you an edge on the defensive side of the game. To be honest, this might get some bans from Twitch because all you see is the character's cheeks jumping around. The order was given and players are listening. Helldivers 2 New Major Order is one of the coolest things that the game has done to date. They want to free 4 planets in a week and if that happens, everyone will have access to the most deadliest weapon for bugs. The Termicide Dispensary Towers that I mentioned yesterday are that weapon. It's only been 2 days and 2 planets have been freed. The community only needs 2 more planets to activate the ultimate weapon, but with all the problems of players kicking out other players, let's see if that happens. With all the success that Powell has seen since release, there are still people who haven't played the game because they don't own an Xbox or a PC. The developers of Pocket Bear in talks to bring the game to more platforms. They didn't say exactly what platform they wanted to bring it to, but you could bet it's a Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, and even maybe more. For now, they intend on staying in independent and small studios, so we might not get all, if even, any of these when it comes to the numbers. Tell me your thoughts down below. For you mech lovers out there, there's a game that's mech and farming sim. Games Radar has been reviewing Lightyear Frontier, and the pros of the game from their point of view is the mech, the progression, a lot of discovery, and an awesome, peaceful world. The car they talk about is the game doesn't have a good guidance or map markers, and they can't seem to find a way to adjust placed buildings. And finally, Mojang is warning players not to update Minecraft via the Xbox app on PC. There's a weird bug that's deleting whole world via the updates. There's no way to get the worlds back once they're deleted. The only way to update without deleting a world is running the game service repair tool before installing the update. This way, the bug gets erased before installation and going in after your world. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.